Hello everybody, it is Friday and I hope you are having an excellent day with your family. Um, I wanted to read you two books today. One is short and the other one is a little bit longer, but the first one I'm going to read you is called Excellent Ed and it is about a little dog who is just trying to fit in at home with his family. <laughs> so it's by Stacy Mick uh, Analty and illustrated by Julia Sarcone Roach. Is her last name? Excellent Ed. And this right here is Ed. <laughs> All the Ellis children were excellent at something, except Ed. All the Ellis children were allowed to eat at the table and ride in the van and sit on the couch and use the indoor bathroom, except Ed. <laughs> She's telling him to go outside and go potty. Elaine was an excellent soccer player. Ed preferred to carry the ball in his mouth. The twins, Emily and Elmer, were excellent at math and could add faster than a calculator. Ed only could count to four. Edith was an excellent ballerina, and she could twirl on her toes. Ed could twirl too, but it wasn't the same. Ernie baked excellent cupcakes. Ed agreed. <laughs> There's Ed trying to spin. Maybe if I was excellent, like Elaine, Emily, Elmer, and Edith, and Ernie, then I could eat at the table and ride in the van and sit on the couch and use the indoor bathroom, Ed thought. But what was Ed excellent at? Then he got it, breaking stuff. I'm definitely excellent at breaking stuff. Ed thought that should earn him a place at the Ellis family table. Ed thought, excuse me, but before he could jump onto a chair, Elaine zoomed into the kitchen and yelled, I broke the record for the most goals in soccer season. Elaine was better at breaking stuff than Ed. She broke a record. I must be excellent at something else, Ed thought. Then he got it, losing stuff. Just last week, he lost himself when he wandered out of the backyard. I'm definitely excellent at losing stuff, Ed thought thought. <laughs> He's buried all, all these things. Ed thought that earned him a ride in the van, but just as he was about to jump in, Elmer shouted, I lost a tooth. Me too, Emily said. Elmer and e Emily were better at losing stuff than Ed. I must be excellent at something, Ed thought. Better than Elaine, Emily, Elmer, Edith, and Ernie. But what? I like these pictures real quick. Looks like they were finger painting some of this. Forgetting stuff. He always forgot to wipe his paws, and he forgot that he shouldn't water the rose bushes, and he always seemed to forget that he had just eaten. Ed, you just ate, Dad said. I'm definitely excellent at forgetting stuff, Ed thought. He was sure, to, he was sure that he earned him a nap on the couch, but then Edith made an announcement. I'm the new lead ballerina. When I auditioned, I just forgot to be nervous and dance my best ever. Ed whimpered. He wasn't even the best forgetter. Maybe I'm not excellent enough to be a part of the Ellis family. Just then, Ernie dropped half of his peanut butter sandwich. Ed gobbled it up. Wow, Ed, you are excellent at cleaning the floor, Ernie said. 
Yes, I am an excellent floor cleaner. Maybe that's why I don't eat at the table. <laughs> Then Emily and Elmer walked in the front door. Ed jumped up and covered them with kisses. Ed, you're excellent at welcoming us home, Emily and Elmer said. Yes, I am an excellent welcomer. Maybe that's why I don't go away in the van. Later, the family squished together on the couch and there was no room for Ed. So he lay across Edith and Elaine's feet. Ed is excellent at warming feet, Elaine whispered to Edith. Yes, I am an excellent feet warmer. Maybe that's why I don't sit on the couch. Ed wagged his tail. He was an excellent Ellis after all. <laughs> I love the back of this. It says, an excellent family needs an excellent dog. I love that story because Ed figures out that he is excellent at a lot of things. All right, so the last little story I want to read today is called Reading Makes You Feel Good by Todd Parr. And I hope that you guys are being read to a lot and that you are even doing some reading on your own. Reading makes you feel good because you can imagine you are a brave princess or a scary dinosaur. Help, help, save me, grrr. You can learn about cool places and people. Says, be who you are, do your best every day. You can make a new friend. <laughs> and you can do it anywhere. Reading makes you feel good because, yeah, you can take your books anywhere to read. Reading makes you feel good because you can learn how to make pizza. You can find your favorite animal at the zoo. <laughs> it says, do feed the monkeys. You can find your favorite animal at the zoo. You can make someone feel better when they are sick. You can travel to far away places. <laughs> that sign says drink milk <laughs> and eat your vegetables. And you can do it anywhere. Reading makes you feel good because, yeah, I love this, because you can travel in your imagination when you read books. Reading makes you feel good because you can do it all by yourself. You can learn how to take care of your pet. It says ducks, how to take care of them. You can follow signs on the road. Lots of signs to read when you're driving. You can share a book with anyone. It's hospital, shelter, library, and school. And you can do it anywhere. I love that book. It's just a good reminder to read. Oh, here's another page. Reading is important. When you read or when someone reads to you, it helps you learn and discover new things. Curl up with someone special and read a book. 
You'll feel really good. Love, Todd. P.S. See if you can read all the words I put in the pictures. Ooh, that's cool. So that was a little um, note from the author. Here's the back of the book. All right, so that was Reading Makes You Feel Good by Todd Parr and then Excellent Ed. All right, you guys, have a great weekend, and I will talk to you soon.